Hey everyone, so this is the Effect DAO call. Today is May 1st, 2024. And here are David and Jeffrey, uh, developers on uh, for Effect AI. Perfect. All right, thank you for the introduction. Um, yeah, um, I'll do a quick little introduction since uh, this is my first time joining the, the DAO call. I'm uh, Jeffrey, I'm 28 years old. Uh, I have a background in uh, software development and game development. And um, some of you might know me because I've actually been with uh, with the tech for, for uh, since the beginning, but uh, I've been away, uh, been coming back and forth basically. Uh, and I'm here to, uh, yeah, basically help uh, Jesse and Lawrence and David and the rest of the team to do some development. You might have seen my commits on uh, GitHub for the last few weeks. We've been quite busy getting everything ready for the new V2 launch. So that's hopefully almost done. I'm, I'm finishing things up together with David. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a little introduction. And do you two have uh, updates you'd like to uh, share for how it's all coming along? Um, yeah, no, no real like final updates yet. Other than um, yeah, it's 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 almost it's almost there. I'm, I'm finalizing the new build as we speak, basically. So I wanted to basically end of this week. I wanted to to have the V2 uh, ready on on npm. So it's like out there, people can download it. Uh, after that, but we still need to do a lot of work on uh, like adding the documentation, which David is helping me with. Uh, and then uh, slowly, uh, we will also release probably the next in the next week the the, the force update, so people can start working there. Uh, the first batch of of workers will re receive a code and a special access code that they'll be able to use, and then uh, they can start working on uh, new campaigns and tasks. Oh wow! So you're thinking already in a week. Yeah, I think somewhere somewhere next week. Uh, well, we'll give you I'll to... give you two extra weeks because you know how it's yeah, going. Yeah, but exactly. probably don't in the next month, it, right? And, uh, yeah, for sure. So I still need to uh, finalize everything together with Lars and Jesse as well. Um, but yeah, my estimates are for now are for for next week we can we can roll out like an early uh, for yeah for the the for an early group of workers basically. So that's exciting. David, do you remember you used to have uh, this idea of uh, doing, uh, you know how on Hug and Face has its data sets and somehow you would like pipe into it to upgrade them. Uh, do you still have that idea like on the to-do? Not hugging face. Um, I didn't work on that anymore. And um, for now, I've let go of that idea. And for now, um, I was thinking more of incorporating Label Studio. Oh yeah. Um, but I haven't really spoken to Jeff about it either. Um, and uh, for this V2 upgrade, um, I don't think it was necessarily included in the plans either. Oh, so yeah. I wasn't um, talking about V2 just in general because I thought it was a good idea. Yeah, yeah, uh, I still think it's a good idea to um, hook into a larger platform and make it accessible than to effect. But no, I haven't uh, continued working on that idea, unfortunately. For now, um, the main focus is um, working on the SDK, making sure that all of the, the features the necessary features work properly. Um, Jeffrey has done a really great job um, refactoring the whole SDK. It's a lot more stable compared to what it used to be. It's a lot more manageable and easy to use, I find. And especially now with the documentation as well um, and everything written in TypeScript, I think it should be a lot more clearer to other developers as well in the future going forward and um, how to use it. So yeah. Um, I'm actually quite excited about it. Um, yeah. But yeah, that doesn't mean that it should make it easier than to incorporate something like Hugging Face in the future. But yeah, we're not there yet. 
Yeah, you've been getting a lot of praise, Jeffrey. I heard Jesse as well compliment your refactoring skills. Yeah, that's uh, that's good to hear. It's always a compliment, of course. But uh, yeah, I I hope um, with this new new changes we can yeah we can attract like a, a big group of developers as well as uh, the migration or the the. The, the switch to the Solana blockchain, opening up to the Solana blockchain. I hope that also uh, brings in like a new wave of of people willing to to contribute. And yeah, basically the the, the SDK, the V2 changes that we made this, these past few weeks were getting us ready to the point where we can accept uh, yeah a lot of like contributions from other people as well. Basically, the basics, the the, the base has to be the foundation has to be has to be done well. Uh, for that to to go smooth, right? Otherwise, it's gonna if you build on top of like a, a rotten house, then the whole thing will collapse. So I hope it's there now, not quite yet, but in the next uh, next couple of days, we'll be releasing it. And uh, yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've been waiting a while, and uh, for task to start again. So. Uh... The SDK, so you refactored the, the JavaScript SDK and also the Python SDK is coming out, right? I refactored the, the, the whole uh, JavaScript SDK, yes. But for the Python part, I think you need to be, uh, yeah, you need to talk to Jesse because I, I haven't even touched that yet. Okay, so uh, it's more on I haven't that. even seen it yet, so <laughs> I think it's Jesse's secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then... In regards to release, it will be the JavaScript SDK and then the the the, the new force. Yes, exactly. And and I know Jesse spoke to me a couple times about it. He's working on the the Python SDK, so I believe that's also uh, yeah getting getting ready. But uh, the, the the releases that I'm talking about is is strictly the force and the the JavaScript SDK. Yes. Good to hear all that is coming along. Uh, the I guess I have a, a few updates as well. Um, I've been uh, contacting the various listing sites. So now, like, CoinGecko is finally uh, fixed. Uh, so it, it the, the information for the EFX token is all, like, synced up with the PancakeSwap pool. It's not giving, like, the wrong data anymore. And it's also Effect AI. Um, Oh, okay. That's great. Thanks. Yeah, and then also a BSC scan. Uh, I talked with the P network people, and uh, it's all up to date as well. Now, you if you search, like for example, if you search for EFX on PancakeSwap, it's not like you don't have to import the cust, you know, the the contract. That you actually just see Effect AI EFX. So that's a nice thing. Um. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like right now, we're um, retrieving the price by checking the um, pool on EOS. Um, I think it would be nicer to actually uh, pull it then from PancakeSwap. Oh, yeah, now you should be able to because it's all. Well, I think you'll be able to regardless, but at least all the uh, data is now aligned. And then I was talking to Jeffrey. I think uh, this is probably still in the future, but we got to make sure uh, that uh, once we have the bridge set up and uh, the, the native Solana token for EFX, that it's all like all the information is in, sent to uh, be updated in the right places. So people are aware that it's, it's the Effect AI token. Indeed. And then... Um, no, but uh, thanks for that. Um, yeah, um, that's really useful to have to have it on CoinGecko. Like, a lot of people go there, and if it's not clear, then it yeah, feels scanned since, right away. Ever since KuCoin delisted it, CoinGecko was wrong, and I, 
had finally figured out, you know, the right forms to submit and like talked with support there for like a month, but they finally fixed it. Then aside from that, um, I did publish a quick proposal um, for next cycle. Uh, it's to extend the P150 and P155, which are both uh, the reserve uh, fund. One is for the hackathon and the other for, is for the general reserve fund. And that's just uh, to extend the, their time frame. So until like the price conditions are satisfied. And so that just makes it so I don't have to like redo the proposal if it takes longer than I expected. Okay. Um, sorry, um, I missed out on the. Uh, I'll have to read the proposal details. Um, um, I have been keeping up with the proposals. Yeah, yeah. It's just a proposal to sell EFX at like four cents to build up a USDT fund for a hackathon and just general reserves, uh, but that's not applicable right now. So this will just extend the time frame for when it will be. Okay, great. And uh, aside from that, I don't think there's any news from me. Um, anything else we would like to uh, discuss? Um, no, not for me currently. I think... Um... Yeah, I had a question for Rochelle about the workers, but I don't think she's here, is she? No, she's not. Maybe that will uh, we'll have to do that. Yeah, she said she will be listening yeah. to recording. So. All right. I'll. I'll. Yeah. I'll just contact her directly, and then I'll give some updates on it. So. Right, uh, okay. Of, uh, well, thank you for uh, cool. coming to the Dow call, Jeffrey and David. Hopefully, we see you. Uh, yeah, next, you're welcome. Next Dow call too. Because I'm sure you'll be yeah, definitely. happy to report on the the new stuff going out. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, sorry, guys. It was a little bit short, but uh, next up, I'll definitely we'll have some sweet updates finally for you guys. So stay tuned. All right. Bye, everyone. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Have a good one. Ciao. Bye-bye.